we will do an induction, not on the distance, but on the number of edges in the optimum path. Suppose the optimum path, which has the fewest number of edges in it, consists of a single edge. Will Dijkstra find it? Again, suppose the optimum path consists of a single edge that goes directly from the root to the vertex. Will Dijkstra find that? Yes, it finds it step one. It finds it a step, because what do you do with step one? You scan from the root. And the, the first guess as to the optimum path and the distance is go directly on the cost of that edge. And if that turns out to be the, the optimum, you will eventually declare it to be permanent. You'll have it from the get-go. All right, so the next step is to just do the inductive step. Assume that the optimum path has k plus 1 edges in it, just counting the number of edges, where k is greater than or equal to 1. All right. Now, what we are using is an important property about paths. So if this is the root, and here's the vertex x, and this is an optimum path from the root to x. Suppose this is some vertex u here. Here's a path from the root to u. Is that a good path? Could you do better if you worked a little harder for that? Could somebody say to me, well, you know, uh, this is an optimum path from the root to x, but along the way you've made some sacrifices, and the path from R to U is, is not optimal. Well, um, if the path must go through U and there's a more optimal way to get to U, then there should be a more optimal way to get to X. Right? Yeah, so you're answering my question. Good. So you, there can't be a better way to go to U. If there's a better way to go to U, then go to U with that way, but then follow this path the rest of the way. And that will get you to X cheaper than this path. So the, the key thing here is that initial segments of optimum paths are optimum. Okay. So here's the optimum path to X. I want to prove that Dijkstra will find either this path or one which is just as good. So I back up one step, call that vertex Y. This is an optimum path from the root to Y, and it has one fewer edges than the optimum path from root to X. Conclusion, Dijkstra by induction will find either that path or one just as good. So. The algorithm produces a path which may be a different path, but the red path and the black path to Y are the same in value. And then Dijkstra will scan from Y and find that edge. So Dijkstra will certainly see that path which has the same weight as the black path. And therefore, Dijkstra will find an optimum path to x as well. OK, so that's an that's a easy, easy induction. But that shows the correctness of Dijkstra's algorithm. 